The outcome of the election does not affect my business and it should not affect yours either. This is your first day in real estate and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach James Festini. And this is the program that's gonna teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm James Festini. And uh, since 1993, I've been selling residential real estate over 1300 sides. And uh, I'd like to report to you today the results of the election as it pertains to the residential real estate agent. You see, none of it matters. That's right, none of the election results matter for your business. Now I know a lot of real estate agents are gonna say, that's so ignorant, you're so dumb, how could it not? But let me, let me put this in front of you. I have been selling residential real estate since 1993. I have seen the major recession, I've seen the dot-com bubble, and I've seen this whole election cycle. I've even gone through the COVID situation. Every one of these instances did not affect my business more than I affect my business. So there are only three things that should affect your business. It would be employment slash the economy, because if they're not employed, they don't have money, they don't buy houses. Number two would be the interest rates, but does that even affect it? Probably not, so it's really just employment. The interest rates, some people have been around when the interest rates were 18%, I wasn't around. But also the third thing is going to be my hustle, my grind, my work ethic. This third thing has sustained me well past my due date and well past the expiration date of most agents. Most agents couldn't survive that 2008 crash. Most agents probably didn't survive the COVID thing. Most agents just don't survive being in this business at all. So how can I convince you that the presidential outcome, where this morning is the, the morning after the presidential election thing and uh, we're still undecided, so I thought I'd shoot this video right now and get it out right now, just to let you know it doesn't matter. You see, many, many years ago, I used to watch the Super Bowl with my uh, brother-in-law. And before the Super Bowl, I would go to a, a jersey store and I would buy a jersey of each team. And before I would show up there, I would put on whatever jersey I felt like it, right? I'd wear that. And if a team started losing, I would switch it to the other jersey. That would upset some of the people inside the, the party, but that's just who I am, right? It didn't matter. I didn't care. I had no skin in the game other than just having fun with the Super Bowl and having a few beers with friends and family. That didn't affect me. But then one year my brother-in-law turned around and said, you know what, James, you've got to pick a team. You can't just keep going into football. You, you watch football with me every week. Well, I kinda don't watch, I just sat around. He said, you've got to watch a team and appreciate it. So you have to pick a team. I said, all right, fine. And we were at the swap meet. That was when we decided. And I remember looking up and I said, I like those colors, the gold and black. And he goes, well, that's New Orleans Saints. I said, perfect, man, I love jazz, it's perfect. So I bought the jersey and voila, I was a Saints fan. And the family followed suit. And now, what, 15 years later, we're Saints fans. But here, why am I telling you the story? As soon as I became a Saints fan, I started paying attention and I started getting upset when they lost. I started worrying about the game and it affected my pleasurability during the football game. And I started getting emotionally involved over something that had nothing to do with me. I really don't, I still don't understand football. My son's played for like 10 years and my wife's a hardcore football. I kind of figured it out, but I don't care. I'm just there for the drinks and the good time. That's just me. Why am I telling you this story? Because when you get emotionally involved, whether it's red or blue, Democrat or Republican, when you become emotionally involved in the outcome of an election, whether your side wins or lose, it, it really messes with your head and makes you believe that whatever outcome comes will affect your future. And I've got news for you, it doesn't. <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. And some of you guys might be like, okay, whatever. I never voted until this last election. I just didn't care. I didn't, I didn't follow politics, didn't bother me, but my wife finally convinced me to vote, so I voted last election and I checked off the boxes that she told me to check and that was that. But when COVID hit, I started paying attention to the politics. I started watching you know, the debates and how the, the country was handling itself, how the, my governor Newsom was handling himself. And I started to dislike people based on their political affiliation, similar to me disliking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they were against the Saints. And it started affecting me so much more and more and more. And as the election got closer and closer, I started to identify people I didn't like. And it started connecting that they were of that other political affiliation. I'm like, 
I never noticed all of these years. I never noticed that these people were that kind of person and I'm this kind of person. No wonder that they're jerks or they're this or that. I, and so I'm starting to judge based on a taught or self-taught perception about the behavior of other people instead of not giving a crap. So once this election is over today, tomorrow, the next day, I, I beg of you, step back and stop effing worrying about it because nothing affects your business more than your personal behavior towards client lead generation follow-up. It still goes back to the basics. So again, only thing that messes with you is the employment situation slash economy. So let's just say employment and economy because that's hand in hand. If they don't have a job, they don't have money, there's the economy. And the interest rates, which is part of the economy too. So it's all kind of tied in together. But the most important thing you have is your ability to prospect, to lead generate, to acquire a name and a number and an email of an individual who might be interested in selling. And then your ability to communicate with them, establish rapport, build a relationship, gain their trust, get them to know, like, and trust you over a certain period of time, and then you will have the listing. That situation, my friends, doesn't change whether it's Democrat, Republican, pandemic, housing crisis, none of this matters. So hopefully this message gets through to you. If you want to take these little dopamine hits of, oh, we're winning, we're losing, keep it in the game. Once this game is over, this political game is over, take off the jersey and go back to work. I'm still stuck with the whole Saints fan situation, but I know that during the week, I just still don't give a crap. My wife does. She still follows the teams and the players and la la la. I don't give a crap. I'll put on the jersey at about one minute before kickoff and I'll take it off right after the game's done. And it's almost like I release myself of that situation. I don't care. I really don't care. I still don't care. Please don't care about your political situation. I know some of you are like, Ugh. Oh, is oh my God, how dare you? He doesn't even vote. I'm like, yeah, I voted twice now, yesterday and four years ago to the day. Knowing the opposition, knowing the resistance has affected me negatively in my business. Don't let that be the situation. Please, whatever you do, don't let politics and economics affect your business. Because even, even if COVID hit 10 times more and we had a housing crash and let's say we uh, I don't know lockdown like everything that could possibly go wrong and interest rates go up 18% there will still be people who want to buy and sell real estate trust me that doesn't stop there will be less agents so <laughs> goody goody getting rid of agents will be a blessing I've always said before that if 99% of the real estate agents just disappeared out of the business there would still be too many agents handling the business. There'll be plenty of agents handling all of the business. There'll be too many still, 99%. There's just too many of us, N not us. I'm not included because I'm working. If you continue to work your butt off and stay out of the politics, if you want to do politics, go be a politician. We are real estate agents. Stay in our lane. When you have a client who wants to talk politics, say, you know what? There's two things I'm talking about, politics or religion. But my religion is real. My religion and my politics is real estate. How about we talk about that? And I've used that script many times. My religion and my politics is selling residential real estate. Which side do you prefer? Are you thinking of selling or buying? <laughs> That's it. I don't see Democrat, I don't see Republican, I see buyer and seller. Try that one on for size. <sighs> don't stop working. Keep your head on straight. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, please like my video hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, that little bell icon. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Find me at jamesfestini.com. I'll get your head out of your butt. Until then, get back to work. People ask me all the time, where do I get my data? How do I have so many good numbers without spending an arm and a leg? Because I recommend you get it from three places and I merge them to create the ultimate white pages. Two of them are Cole Realty Resources and TelephoneList.biz. They will provide you names, addresses, phone numbers, along with email addresses scrubbed against the do not call list, available for both US and Canada. Now, have you seen my amazing local market videos for my real estate business? In one word, Teradatum. They make videos branded to your brokerage and automatically update them every month with videos by zip code, county, city, and your hyper local market, and it's extremely affordable. Have you guys seen my website lately? Well, you should. It's absolutely gorgeous. I owe it all to Zentap. 
They will help you with your advertising using your MLS, IDX, and social media to attract an audience and engage your leads using sophisticated bots. Now, you're gonna need a powerful CRM to manage all of this, and as you know, Mojo Selling Solutions is more than just a dialer. It's the most powerful CRM bar none. Mojo provides you expires for sell by owners, and that is the third list of data, along with email and mail campaigns. For more information on any of these products, along with my personal coaching and training products, go to jamesfestini.com today. Or just show financial support at any amount on patreon.com forward slash James Festini. Now, get back to work.